I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. Send you. Did I never learn how to swim? Potato! Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be li- You're a liaison to the mug? Well, not technically. 
No, at least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I... I'm Nerida, by the way. We didn't officially meet, but we... Yes, of course. And you? You seem quite interested in... I am! And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the Mer people should have one too. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people... You do? I, I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their ca... I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid... Well, I can swim and could help you if... You'd really do that? The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned... Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you... I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. <laughs> Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Nurida an artifact? Revelio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Luke. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Now for the rest of you. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Narada will be happy about this. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard. It's marvellous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the Ministry. 
Should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have... I can't wait to study this. Rebellion. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. I won't be wasting your time. Rebellion! Uh, opportunity ever so. Come on, then. Expelliarmus. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. Uh, uh Revelio. I must You're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your, your little rat scratch me. Scratch me. Come on, you little you can't even keep oh, come on, where rat. are you? If I it ever catch a rat. rat, it's dead. You hear me? I know a Merlin trial when I see one. The Aaron has his belongings back. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do, but... Uh... Just exploring the countryside. Hey. <laughs> Bit of a wanderer, mate. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the... I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden... What do you say, my young friend? Something to consider. Aye, let me know if you... What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need.
I shall hope to do business with you again. That's been a pleasure. Now there's a student who knows how to fly. Revelio. Rebellion. Get on with those tasks. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you 
practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. quickly. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wit. I'm in. Let's. Brilliant! Summoner's Court, the ever changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio! Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio! Try to beat that! On the under. Oh. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Wait, did I win? I won. <laughs> we should have better care to go again. I'm game for another rap. Grand! You could you. Summoner's Court. The ever changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Akio. All in the wrist. I've seen worse. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. That was one for the ages. <laughs> Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared.
Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. <gasps> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches. Lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, 
The nasals are over here. Oh, a couple of nasal whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the nasals just as you did with Gerald. The nasals really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Psst, psst, over here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead.
Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as... Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo! Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Gryffindor. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I... Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally. A decent challenge. Getting the hang of this.
Strand. I'm ready to give it another go. Good. Proved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. 
I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Revelio. Hello there. Nice to see you. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had... It's silly. I'm insatiably curious as to... You want me to follow the bus? I do, yes. But very well, if I have... To. Oh, how kind. Students, you can usually find me right around here. Don't forget, the butterflies always... Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord Gog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. 
His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Sorona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Rebellion! See you outside the castle. You too, are meet. <laughs> Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb.
Revelio. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find Rebellion. myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Rebellion. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic. Forged during a time of unity among the Goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all... Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to Goblin... Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance... The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most... It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Rebellion. It's sealed. Moths. Oh, curious. Incendium. Lumos. 
Incendio. Mullen's bed. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Expelliarmus! Accio! Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Confringo. Levioso. This has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Confringo! 
Repair it. Lumos. I see this is supposed to spin. Incendio. Lumos. Also should set this spinning. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Accio. Confringo. Down I go. 
No other way. Lumos. Confringo. Accio. looks even more complex. Revelio.
this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Lumos. 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 <sighs> Revelio. Lumos. I need to bring moths to the door. Lumos. Expelliant. Cabalso. Lumos.
Revelio. Depulsa. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have better show this to Lodgok. Revelio. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic.
Revelio. Revelio. That's it. This is for Rockwood. I know I'm not hearing. You regret that. I've seen you. Do you, you let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. You may go. Fight for me! Ah, Potato! My one! Confringo! No one takes one of my own and lives the hell of it! Incendio. Defendo. Confringo. Is that the best you can do? Incendio. Reducto. Predictable. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still... I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good... Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew... Best be off. Next time we talk, I... I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckon... You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing it. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honey? Ah, brilliant. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my... I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. 
It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? A lift must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Repair her. That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Incendio! I'm going to have to get past this. Repair it. Let me also. Repair her. Let me also.
La vida es sol. Revelio. Levioso. Defender. Accio. Labioso. Uh. Incendio. Peril. Let me open. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Repairer. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Aha. Got it. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. Incendio. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
team. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade... Rebellion. I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigods. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. 
You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? <laughs> Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Alohomora.
Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restrict. Alohomora.
those two standing alone here? All poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Aconite and Asphodel. Yeah, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. This must be the prefect's bathroom. They're saying that Ranrock's loyalists are preparing for a rebellion. Brute. Always mucking about, stirring up trouble. Ranrock and Hithot wouldn't be so combative if the Hello, Homora. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. You have your work cut out for you. Understood. I shall keep it. I appreciate that. 
Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Confringo! Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Revelio. 